There you go. Better? That's a that's a, a nine incher instead of a six incher. I'm headed in the right direction. That's the positive, you know? Everybody, how you doing? Uh, hope you're having a great day. It's a winter day. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's cold. Uh, it's been in the 20s at night. Today it's up in the mid 40s, and I'm fishing a little sneak hole, aka undisclosed location, with my man Charles. What's up? That's right. You might remember Charles from taking me from my first amazing tog experience in a kayak. Well, we're back for more. Out in the Hobies today, right? Out in the Hobies. Not a lot of rods, maybe about five rods. Uh, big bass, crappie, maybe a pickerel or two. We're gonna see what happens. Come on, let's go. Baby, I caught one though. On a boy. <laughs> I did catch one though. Back on that blade bait. Dude, that thing is. <laughs> it's a fish tank. That's a fish tank fish. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know. I'll take it for the first one. It was something pulling back. Yeah. Oh, that's a better one. What is that? Oh, that's a little bass. Another fish tank. Yeah, better than that last one. He swallowed it though. There you go. Better? That's a that's a, a nine incher instead of a six incher. I'm headed in the right direction. That's the positive, you know? You're right though, dude. Dead stick is like Yeah, super slow. Big one, bro. I think. No, but it's a good one. They're bigger on the water. <laughs> it's not that big. <laughs> it gets <smaller>. low. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Drop shot. Nice. Crappie. 
Big crappie. Oh man, big crappie. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Stay on there. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow. I got him. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. If you're watching and you're from Florida or Georgia or South Carolina, don't laugh at me. We're in the Northeast. We're in Jersey. And that's a big crappie. Dude, when it's bigger than your face in Jersey, that's a big crappie. Look at that thing, dude. I mean, that's, I don't catch them like this a lot. This is as good as it gets right here for me. You know, that's a pound, pound one, pound two crappie. That's, that's big. If you're in South Carolina, maybe not, but if you're in New Jersey, that's a big crappie, dude. Look at that thing. Wow. You know, wintertime fishing, it's not always fast and furious, but when you get bit, it's fun. Go back. Go back to your home. Like, see how the, the floats, like, it's a little under the water. I, I wish I had the next float set. Oh, God. I smacked it, dude. Float and fly. Can you believe it? Tried everything under the sun to catch these things. It couldn't catch them. Oh, another big crappie, dude. Another big one. Not quite as big as that last one, but this is a big one, dude. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this is the reason you should always carry a bobber in your box in the winter! and the bass are mixed together. Look at that. <laughs> no. Oh, the float fly. That's crazy. Look at that. The large mouth. Crazy. Wow. probably a four foot, five foot leader. And crappie, bass, and now look at the size of that thing, dude. God, that is beautiful, dude. That's a slam. Dude, that is the slam right there. I mean, a perch and a pickerel, only thing that can make it better, but I'm happy with that. Look at this thing. God. Dude, look at the sun shining on it. Look at those colors, bro. Is that not gorgeous? What an amazing panfish, dude. Look at that. Look at that, way bigger than my palm, dude. What a pretty fish. Thank you. What a fun day of winter fishing. So glad we decided to sneak back in this little pocket, bro. What a great decision that was. You're right, you know, but when you go out there and you don't see, you know, it's not like that. You said you said it right. It's not like that depth finder's lying. You know? You come here, it's the graph is there's it's black almost at times. Bait's here. You know, you're around them. We just had to figure out. Got him! Oh god! Oh. 
Oh, big one. fisherman i've caught bass tuna i've caught giant fish but if that doesn't get you excited watching that float go under and watching a crappie that big eat it i mean if that doesn't get you excited you've got problems wow look at that fly down his throat dude he sucked it in look at that the fly is gone the old float and fly technique, man. It's a wintertime killer. Never, never leave home without a bobber. Look at that thing, dude. Look how big he is compared to my palm. Look at that. Wow. Charles, unreal. What a cool place. There's one. On too, dude. I can't even see it. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. I mean, you can barely get one to bite, and then when one decides to eat it, it's gone. I mean, I gotta get the Gerber out for this one because you can't even see it, dude. It is so, I might actually have to go through his gill. Let me see. It, it was gone, dude. I had to go through his gill to remove it. Look at that little fly. Little 16 ounce white VMC hair jig. Giant crappie. I would say pound and a half crappie. Listen. If you like to cold water fish, winter fish, and nothing's, nothing else works, get a hair jig, get yourself a cork, and go have fun. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Go and Ike, uh, winter fishing, undisclosed location, float and fly. See you later. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Ha, ha, ha.